All right, folks, welcome back. This is another episode of Curious Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 edition. Today we are talking about a print speed, and this is kind of oversimplified because when you look at the settings here, you'll see that there's only one listed under speed. That is going to change a lot of things. You can see it affects the infill speed, the wall speed, the top and bottom speed, the travel speed, and the raft print speed. Among other things, those are just the things that are listed. So we're going to jump right into that and more right now on the Techniverse channel. Okay, so here we have it. I have this simple model imported here. I'm actually zoomed in really close because I want to show you some of the differences here. One of the interesting things to note about the speed setting is you can actually see the effect that it's having if we say slice this model, which I already have, and we go to preview mode. Now in here, there is a tab under color scheme, and if you click this, you'll get a couple of different options. So I have it set to speed right now. It's normally set to line type, so your model might look like this. Go ahead and click on speed and you will see that there is a difference in speed denoted by color. It also gives you a little bit of a scale here to tell you what speed you're really printing at. So with this light blue color, most of this is printing right in here. And then the green part is printing a little bit faster right in here. That's going to be our actual 50 millimeter per second speed. Now if we go ahead and take a look at some of the other things in here. Now it's pretty dulled down. Um, this setting is going to affect a lot of the settings below it as well as a couple of the settings above it and what we're going to do is actually go into the advanced settings for speed so you can see some of the differences so let's click on this tool this uh, settings icon here and travel down to the speed setting in fact we can just type speed here and you can see there's speed settings in all of these other areas. We're not too worried about those right now. We're just going to basically go to the actual speed setting, which is right here. And it gives me a lot of other options that I can tick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick a couple of these so we can see the percentages that they're running at, okay? Um, and you can set these independently. Most of the time, they are determined by each other. And we're going to go ahead and check all of them here. I think that we need... Travel speed, initial layer speed, okay. That should be enough, let's close that. So you'll see that our base print speed is 50 millimeters per second. That is basically the fastest the machine is gonna go while it's putting down plastic here. But there are some variable speeds in here and most of them are slower than that speed. And that is for fine details such as the outer walls, it's cutting that speed by about half. Um, infill is going at a fast speed because it's, it's full speed because basically you're not going to see that part of the model, so if it's not perfectly accurate, it doesn't matter. So it prints that a little bit faster. If there were support, support structures in here, it would print those at different speeds as well, and those speeds would show up. One of the cool things to note is, if you look at the travel speed here, this is about three times your uh, print speed uh, set to default. So uh, if I change this, that travel speed really shouldn't change much. Uh, the rest of them alter, but this is basically as fast as most machines will let you move your machine. Uh, and it's not putting down plastic at this time, so it shouldn't affect your model if it moves really fast. Uh, I can also set this to something ridiculously low, like 20 millimeters per second, and it'll still slow down these other parts by half the amount. So let's go back to 50, that's about average. It's a little on the slow side for my Ender 3. Uh, 65 is right in the sweet spot between speed and quality for me on that machine, but. 50 is a good place to start and that is pretty much the default here so the initial layer speed is going to be the speed of let's slice this again the initial layer speed is going to be the, the speed of basically exactly what it says the first layer and if we scroll down we can see that that first layer is a different shade of blue it's a little bit darker and that is because it is going a little bit slower and you can see it's denoted that it's closer to the 10 millimeters per second it's actually running at 20 millimeters per second where if we go up um, if we go up a layer, it gets lighter, and then it basically this is our regular speed. So it's actually printing these two layers at a slower speed, and that is denoted by how many initial layers we have set. So uh, the speed setting is pretty straightforward. I just wanted to point out this different view you have in here so you can see the actual speed of what it's printing and how fast it's doing each particular part. 
it is a pretty cool little breakdown in preview mode and ultra ultra helpful you can see as we get to up here it's printing this part super duper slow because it's basically all outer wall and shell so um, that is it for this video stay tuned for the next one we're going to go over some of the travel settings and in there is retraction that's a pretty important one to prevent stringing so if you want to save yourself some stringing troubles with your filament make sure you hit that subscribe button and tune in for the next video in this series that's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.